Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks with the Apocalypse. Today we are in the Cromwell, a British tier 6 medium tank. The Cromwell is fast, light, and relatively small with a wonderful 75mm gun, making it very, very punchy. Does have a little bit of trouble penetrating higher tier tanks from the front, but if you can get around the rear, which you can do in this tank, and we will be doing it a lot in this game. Oh boy, the damage you can do with this gun. Uh, wasn't actually planning to bring you a Cromwell replay this week. I really wanted to do a uh, Panzer II Lush gameplay for this week in honor of the uh, War Thunder Ground Forces closed beta non-disclosure agreement being uh, lifted partially uh, because there are Panzer IIs in War Thunder. However, there is only so much you can do with a Panzer II Lush on Malinovka, which is what I got repeated, really repeatedly, just over and over and over again, before that ISU-152 reduces you to a pair of smoking tracks from halfway across the map, because he just had bigger view range than you did. So, uh, after many, 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 many games of the Lush on Kampanovka, being reduced to a pair of smoking tracks by ISU-152s and IS-3s and god knows what else with 152mm guns that hurt quite a lot. Um, I, I uh, tried to play a match with the Cromwell, and this was actually the first match I played today, tonight, or this morning, with the Cromwell. And while it started fairly slowly, with uh, me getting flanked, or uh, I'm attempting to flank this heavy corner down here at the bottom of the map, but uh, got spotted by that KV-1 and got hit from, I'm assuming it was the E-25 or the VK-3601 uh, from the other side of the map there, but we're gonna try, try and do this again this time. They appear to have had their attention diverted to other places, and there's the KV-1 again but he isn't looking this way. Okay. Well, let, let's put one into his turret side then. Alright. This KV-1 driver is going, Herp, derp, 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 derp. I wonder where all these shots are coming from. Derp. But yeah, he's dead. And then I have a minor freak out here, because I'm like, Oh god, that looks like a German tank destroyer! Wait, oh, hold on, hold on a second. That, that's an artillery. What am I being scared of? I am born to hunt these things. Ah, okay then. And there's one more of them, but... He is over by the VK36, VK but he is around, so... I'm gonna keep moving, make sure he doesn't hit me. Now, I want that E25, but... I'm not totally sure where he went, and I'm not about to dive off a cliff after him, and this IS is just ever so juicy. Come back here, IS. Come on. Be a good sport. Let me shoot you. Aim. There's one. Okay. Now the Panzer V. Just looks like so much of an easier target. Okay, and oh god, that's the E25. He has a really, really nasty gun. Come on, hit him. One more time. There we go. God, the DPM of that gun. Thankfully, the IS isn't looking my way. So I can pump another pair of shots into his back end. Finish him off. That's actually four kills for me now. In a tier 6 medium, in a tier 7 game. But we're not finished with this flank yet. We've got a T29 to come and help kill. Or they've already helped kill him. Okie dokie, swing this baby around. Try not to fall off the cliff as I go. And we're gonna go see what we can do over on this side of the map. There are quite a lot of tanks heading down the north side of our map right now, but we do have a pair of very capable tank destroyers to hold them off who haven't been shot at this entire game, so they're on full health. And me and this ELC are gonna come over here and put pressure on their cap to try and split their forces so that our two tank destroyers can make the most out of their life. 
Now I'm headed straight for the cap because I don't see anything here and then that E25 pops up and I'm like nope, 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 I don't have enough health to get shot at. I'm gonna stick to the low ground, he's already missed me once. Get down here where I can go hold down, even though this tank isn't particularly good hold down, just being a smaller target that gun isn't incredibly accurate at this sort of range. Being a smaller target is a good thing. Lost sight of him, so I'm going to make myself as small as possible. The ELC is to my left right now, and our artillery is putting shots into where we last saw the E25. Oh. Hello. It is 5 in the morning. And here comes E25. Very, very fast machine, and I missed that shot, and I'm going to pay for it. Waiting for him to come up. There he is. And I'm not going to be able to reload before he hits me. And boom. Did take him with me. Which makes 5 kills. 2080 damage done. And uh, the last enemy tank is about to get finished off by our AC. You can see him coming up there on the map. So, uh. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and as always, watch your six, I'll catch you next time.